Good morning, friends. Today our topic is flow chart of Boolean and busted process. Now, friends, as it is known to us that wool is a natural fiber. It comes from sheep, and it is a protein fiber. Now, if we observe the woolen clothes available in our home, then you, you will find that they are normally used in winter. So one property must be clear to us that the woolen clothes, they give us warming. And another point is if we classify the clothes available or the woolen clothes, then you will find that the blankets are there, then carpets are there, the rugs are there, then sweaters are there, then suits are there. And if you minutely observe your suits, woolen suits, then it is written over the worsted suitings. So, one point of difference between woolen and worsted is that woolen is produced for the woolen fibers having shorter length, that is one to three inches, while the worsted, the fibers longer than three inches, they are used. If you observe the feel of the carpet, it is rough, while your suiting material it is having softer feel. The thickness of both the fabrics it is also differ. From the lesser point of view, it is also differ. So that must be clear that the woolen and the worsted process. They are different when we are producing them in our factory. Now, the first process which is used is shearing, where the fibers are removed from the body of sheep. And this shearing process is once per year. The amount of wool removed from the body depends from sheep to sheep. But in normal case, one sheep it gives 2 to 8 kg of wool per year. Now, another point if you observe that there are certain impurities present, that is birds. It is a vegetable impurities. Then wax, sweats, respiration, dust and dirt. So, first process is the shearing, then the, after shearing, the material is sorting is done and the grading is done. And after that, the scouring is done. Scouring is a water bath, hot water bath, having detergent in it. The object of this is to remove the impurities present in the material. And then another is after scouring, the drying takes place. And after drying, the oiling is being done. And 
the object of the oiling is to remove the impurities present in the material. Then after oiling the carding is done, here we are not using the flat card system as in the case of cotton. Here the roller and clearer cards are used where the cylinder instead of cylinder we call it the cylinder as swift. After carding in woolen yarn the spinning is taking place and then the yarn is produced which is a woolen process. But when we are using worsted then gilling, gillbox strand and combing they are being used. Now what is gillbox? That instead of grafting rollers as in the case of cotton, here the chain is there where number of pins are there. And these pins are moving. And when the pins are inserted in the fleece, they not only remove the short fibers and the impurities, but also make the fibers aligned with the material. So after the gill box and combing, the drying process is there. After that rowing is there, then the spinning is there. So one point must be there. The worsted yarn is costlier as compared to woolen. Here the less opening is there, so bulkiness is there. Here as the material is more open form, so more air is intact. So the end use of this woolen yarn is different as compared to worsted. In worsted, as we are using the more number of processes, then the shining is more, the smoothness is more, and also the entrapment of air is lesser in this case, worsted yarn as compared to woolen. So friends, this is all for today. If you are having any query, then please write to us. Thanks for watching the TV.